He's, he's a walking stick. <laughs> he's a common walking stick. That's exactly right. Um, these are also called northern walking sticks, but that's not necessarily true. They're not just found in the north. These walking sticks are actually found in 38 out of our 50 states. So, yeah, they look like sticks, so they blend in. Camouflage is their number one defense, okay? They also spend most of their time high up in the trees because that's where they get their food. Absolutely, their favorite trees are oaks and hazelnuts. So they'll be up at the tops of the trees, which we call the canopy of the tree, and they'll be munching on those leaves, all right? Um, but every once in a while, you just happen to see one down on our level, and when you do, it's, it's quite a treat to see. Um, beautiful bugs. They, they, only, they only live a couple of years, if even that. Usually it's just one season as an adult, but during that time, the female will lay up to 500 eggs. So she basically just drops one egg at a time down to the floor, and then those eggs will spend the winter um, just buried in the ground as eggs. And then the next year, they will develop into um, walking sticks. Six legs, OK? So that is, one of, that is one of the characteristics that makes him an insect. And those legs are very good at climbing. But guess what happens if he loses one? Regeneration. He can grow a new leg if he loses one. And this one, we believe, is a male. Because if you look at his femur, the back of his leg, they're, they're banded. His legs are banded. So that's one characteristic of a male. Plus, he's on the smaller side. Believe it or not, the females get bigger than this. They get about a quarter of an inch bigger. So we have some really unique insects here in Connecticut.